Ladies and gentlemen, we are officially back. It is the 18th of November, 1936, and we uh, conquered the Netherlands. Thank God. I mean, that wasn't that hard. And we're kind of just like chilling now. I mean, we've laid up, we're declared, we're fabricating a war against Denmark, and they'll give us some aluminum. And after that, it's probably time to do the Anschluss and go communist. Because both of us, as we all know, we need to go communist. Simp simply because that's what. That's the purpose of this Let's Play, is to go communist and to raise this fl the red flag all over th this beautiful land of Germany. And, you know, we'll be able to... Because I wonder what we could do with the... I wonder if these are like our puppets or whatever. You know, the East Indies over here. If they become like... Get up a fella. Thank you for kicking me all the way over here. I want to see what we could do with these nuts. I think they might have just became independent. I mean, I'm not that concerned because we have plenty of oil. And look at this guy. Obviously artillery. No, we can't go artillery. Let's go like tank. Or even this. Yeah, let's go this. We have enough artillery and we'll be hacking out of that deficit sooner rather than later. Yeah, they pretty much became independent. This guy. Look at him. You know why? Because we took over their master state. So we gave these people independence. So that way they could go and bully uh, Papua New Guinea. Because if you're in Indonesia, that's what you do. Would be nice to fabricate a war against them, but someone's going to be doing that soon enough. So here, might as well, you know, if we're going to artillery, we might as well do that all the way. Mechanical kind of cool computing done. So, this is 1937 tech, I'm assuming. No. Yeah, you need... Radio. More of this. We need more fighters. We're fine. Wait a day until we do the next technology. Finishes up. Two days. Actually, yeah. About two of them in two days. And then we'll figure out what we're going to do next. As you see here, we have... We actually have a pretty large, large number of people in garrisons. And then we're done with these, and we can figure out what we're going to do over here. We can... We did scale planes. We need to skip at least one of these for, like, practical purposes. Mine will be heavy fighters. I don't feel like... This is 79 days. Pretty much done over here. As we see here, we could do construction or excavation to get more crap. You know, we have plenty of fuel. We might as well 
I mean, rubber is going to be a problem later on, but right now we don't have to worry about it. I mean, where is tungsten? So what should we waste our freaking time on? These are 1936s. Like if you think about, if you, like if you actually look at all this, we're more adv advanced than we were like before the DLC. We got three launchers. Historically, these things were terrible, but that's what we're doing. I mean, it's like the Germans suffered the same thing as the Americans, and that our torpedoes were just loads of crap. And then throughout the war, they obviously got progressively better. As Donuts famously said, in the history of warfare, no one has went to war for more useless weapon. And these people are pretty much done. Shows how quickly that war took. And part of me is thinking of almost building maybe a fuel silo or two just uh make sure we have everything because once we go to a, go to war against them, I can actually halfway decent power or a fate of our navy if we don't begin building soon is just going to be a sad one and lots of course you know we don't antagonize the British and stuff like that. So here we are. Obviously our army's better, like our stability is a lot better, war support's better. This thing is reminding me that we're going to have to go communist soon. I'm thinking we might actually have to do with this next guy coming up, but... Yeah. We'll have Talman. Thalman. 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 I think it's Th Th Thalman. Well, let me look how to pronounce Thalman correctly. Da, 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 da. Go to Google Translate. Thalman. Thalman. T H Unlau. Thalman. Thalman. There we go. Thalman. Thalman. Something like that. Yeah, I don't like Dana's ideals either. No, no, no one does. And I have to stay out of the uh, Spanish Civil War because, of, I mean, I don't want to get above that magical 25% mark. Yeah. If you have a beard like that, you should not be in charge of a country. That's my humble opinion. Sorry, Nom needs. There we go. Sorry about that. You know, you know I meant well. I knew you were, had stuff that was broken. I would have took care of you. You know that. You think they would have a doctor that I could use? least occupied territories Netherlands 3.2 steel yeah 2.5 all right apparently they didn't bother having a dockyard seven eight aluminum right now I can't get shit Which, 
is a crying shame. So here we are waiting patiently. We have a war going soon against Denmark. Have some patience, they'll be around before you even know it. They're right up here. Reich Autobahn done. Figure out what I'm gonna do now. Go to the focus tree and obviously we want six war military factories. Oh, we need more war support. And that sucks, don't you think? So what do we do? Research slot. Army innovations. Obviously, we shouldn't do any focus trees for that. So we'll do a research slot. Never know when a research slot comes in handy. And just hope that a war support goes up a little bit so we can... Where isn't our war support higher? We could obviously waste. You know, we have to waste a lot to get war propaganda, that's for sure. And I'm not, because I'm thinking we might actually have to see the writing on the wall and begin investing in Thalman. You're going to be done before you know it. Hipper. And one for you. There we go. We need capital ships. We need a lot of everything, but at the same time, you know, if we're going to have a navy that's worthwhile, we need to have dockyards and crap, so. We don't need to do the oppose Hitler thing, because there's actually not. I just want to double check this, but there's no way to do any sort of communist thing. If anything, it's just anti communist. Which is strange, you know? So, I mean, do we do, like, are we going to have a civil war? Or are we not going to have a civil war? You know, it's just, this whole opposing Hitler thing is, like, just militarist. Yeah, you know, I say, it's you sleep. You see, I mean, it's, we're going to have to go to communist. We're going to be going communist. We're going to be taking over a lot of crap. And it'll be fun. Especially because we're going to have a very powerful ally. Which is getting bigger every day. I'm good, Trayton. Alrighty, we need ten of these, right? Just focus on you first. You'll be done when? June of next year. And that's fine. Then we'll have three capital ships soon enough. And probably more because I'm just thinking, like, we get Thalman, Thalman, my bad. Thalman. Thay. Okay, you can notice that like, your tongue's moving towards the. It's like more in front of your mouth. Thalman. Thalman. Versus Thalman. Thalman. 
See, if you do this, we get three dog cards. Here we get what? Two more dog cards. Here, what do we do here? Four more dog cards. That's a lot of dog cards. And it's enough to actually build a halfway decent navy. And that's what we need, is a halfway decent navy. And what we need is for world tension to be below 25% for a little bit longer. Because when is war going to be done? June. War is going to be done in June, you hear that Denmark? Which will be good because it will be a little bit more warmer. But you know we need. And New Year's Eve. As I promised, boys, you guys are home for Christmas. I mean, it's all armies need to have something in place for Christmas. I mean. If you think about it, just read up on the Yom Kippur War. I mean, that was... I thought you could surprise them during the Yom Kippur. And they obviously... Yeah. Took a hundred political power to get one building slot. No thank you. Am I going to do anti-communist raids? The answer is hell no. We're almost enough to get Theoman. Theoman. Theoman, Theoman, Theoman. You have to get ready, buddy, because you're going to be released from Dachau in a couple of days, and you're going to, like, to be my, like, super advisor. There we go. We're going communist. Sayuj, so uh, I mean, that's all I know in... And the blind ponds of frost has got slightly a big, and they got bigger, and we're all communists. Yes, we're all becoming communist. Da 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 da. Oh, party day, the Lenin. And I'm done singing the my attempt on the Russian national, the Soviet national anthem. I mean, it's not the, Ru the so Russian National Anthem because they changed the lyrics. The funny thing is that the guy that wrote uh, before... Yeah, the funny thing is that no one, people don't really know is that the guy who... Before the Soviets... The Soviets made that National Anthem in 1944. And before that, they actually had like a... Like a it's actually a really cheesy one. It wasn't really the international, it was like, it was almost like a weird version of the international. But the guy that wrote that first one wrote the uh, Soviet National Anthem. And then the funny thing is that, you know, that the first ones uh, started, you know, the, it was written in 1944, so it obviously had a lot of like pro-Stalin stuff in it. And then when Stalin died... They told him to uh, change it to like write out all the stuff about Stalin. So they hired a guy that originally wrote the first two national anthems to write a third national anthem, and it was the same thing. But they just replaced like Stalin with other stuff. And then what everyone doesn't know is that after that, after the fall of communism, the Russians. You know were left and they had to obviously they couldn't sing the soviet national anthem anymore so they hired a guy that wrote the first so national anthem 
the second one, and the third one. And he wrote the, the Russian National Anthem. Obviously the same uh, score, just with different lyrics. So, I mean, just imagine being that guy. And yet, the critic appears he wrote a pretty damn badass natural anthem. And I pull up some more stukas, which you need. Can't have her enough stukas. 36 now. If I ever get more support higher, we'll have more. But at this point, communism is on the rise. Uh, peak. You think if Theoman was still alive, he would, like, be in charge, but... As I said before, I mean, it's... You could see, like, I don't know if there actually was, like, a lot of fighting. Like, well, I think Theoman should be the political advisor, but the leader should be Peak. Oh, no, I think it should be Milka. Oh, why do you want to do Milka? He's like in charge of the Stasi. And, you know, it's for, like, political reasons. You don't want, like, the command, the person in charge of the Stasi to be, you know, in charge of anything. Kind of like this guy. Scores any, you could... You know, you could dressify him, but you're not going to, like, have, like, the right security type hopped on as your... Well, you're going to have the ad there, which is not as bad, you know? Last time I checked, I had, like, 850 artillery pieces. Now I have almost double that, which is kind of neat. You know? And, you know, by adding that one extra tank, we'll be done soon enough. And then we'll begin doing a suppressive limb. We could actually do a thing of motorized. So, motorized. And Weimar. Produce one. Let me know when you're done. Yeah, obviously you're hurting for artillery, but once again, everyone is. And... Why do I have so much of this crap? I just want to see what this is, because this is weird. Why do I have 13,000 of these damn things all of a sudden? You know? This doesn't make any sense. I'm obviously not going to be giving them to anybody. And I'm grateful for them. But. That's a lot of. That's a lot of. Stuff just to magically appear out of nowhere. Oh, of course, you know, we got it when we conquered the Netherlands. We have a lot of... This is getting better with the Toad Artillery. Panthers are catching up. Opels will be fine. And then we have a lot of other crap being built. And that's what we want. <sighs> Cavalry brigades, look at this, it's crap. If we replace you with armored car, we'll do fine, and that's what I want ultimately. That's what I'm gonna be trying to do sooner, probably next little one, just uh, save the bleed on crap. And that's ultimately good if you think about it. So we'll save up and do armored card next. We'll see how our resistance is going. Occupied. 
Everything is getting pushed down, which I like. The other one is getting a little higher. But this is definitely going down. Soon we might actually be able to do crap. See, now we're, we have our stuff being actually shipped in, which we want. And we have more oil than we know what to do with. And all that is very, very, very good. Because look at all this land that we have. It's not a great land, but it's halfway decent. And if you don't want to live in Germany and you think it's too crowded here, you could go to Suriname and hang out with the natives. What's this? Oh, there's a conflict brewing. Oh, well, that's nice. I mean, this doesn't really mean anything in the long run because I actually want the naturalists to win because who else are the arch enemies of communists but fascists? And I could see myself taking over all of the wonderful land of Italy. And I'll say who else hates communists but capitalists so we could take them over as well. And you're going to put the NKVD in power, which it's fine. I mean, ultimately at this point, until he dies, whatever Comrade Stalin says is right. Comrade Napoleon is always right. Remember, you have to work harder. You have to work harder, and Comrade Napoleon is always right. And in 170 days, my tortillery will be done. That's so what should we do? Build more motorized. Yes. There we go. Emma, there we go. Uh, there we go. And I don't want you dead. I don't want to know when you have the one. So you can think, you know. 37. Am I going to prepare for civil war? And the answer is no. Why would I want a civil war? So how does this do? So this obviously means that we start a civil war. Up oh, enough for political discourse is the peaceful way. And we discuss politics. And this is... Yeah, because I want a peaceful solution to this problem. Everyone does. Because if anything by nature, communists are peaceful people. And therefore it's... You know, necessary for us to... Do things on a in a peaceful scale for the, like the well-being of the people, and yada and yada. And why aren't you guys going to? You know what? You're done. Yeah, go to Konigsberg, please. You had enough time doing your crap. I mean, I don't really care now because I have plenty of oil, but. You know, it's important to I don't feel like I don't want to risk one of my ships going into an accident because right now we need every single ship we can. And unless the Soviets, you know, do a much better job at it than us. Like all the technical stuff, all like pretty much all the good stuff is just gonna be also, probably the muscle, we have to supply, like, the equipment to, actually, pretty much the expertise, and to a lesser extent, uh, lesser extent the equipment, because right now they probably outnumber us when it comes to equipment. Obviously, they're not going to share their art. 
their intel on us. But it's roughly the same as ours. Even though he might be surprised that we, that Hitler released Tailman out of jail and is actively like inviting him to participate in affairs. And pretty much everyone should be. Because in real life, that doesn't happen. Well, that's what we're doing. We're going to slowly become communists over the period of a year or so. It's going to be a couple more months. Then we go to war against Denmark. And that might help us even better when it comes to, you know, take over, taking over the world for communism. And if we're actually building all these appendages, we really do need to have some sort of thing. I'm going to end the recording for a second. Like, like me, subscribe, leave a comment, visit me on my website, evilsexoffender.com, and I'll be back next time.